let's take a chance at learning iMovie. So once we've got some videos taken on either our iPad or our iPhone, the, the iMovie app is going to work uh, very similar on both of those. Uh, we want to make some movies out of them. So I thought the best way for us to go over this training would be to actually just show you what we do. What we do is we shoot these videos. We're either shooting it with an, the iPad that you're seeing right here, um, and we're shooting the iPhone, or the iPhone is right above me, and we're shooting the iPad. So we actually edit and do everything, upload these to our site, to YouTube, everything right from the devices themselves. So I've got iMovie open. You can see we've got some options right here. We can actually download uh, something from iTunes if we've been working on an iMovie project from the computer. Right now, we, we haven't done that. Right now, we've got the iPad mini video, which we did uh, to review the iPad mini. We can share this. We can upload that, which we're going to do here in a minute with the video we create. We can send it to our camera roll, YouTube, Facebook, Vimeo, CNN, or to iTunes. This button is actually just going to go ahead and play the video. I'm going to wait on that one. Uh, the, this last button, the plus button, a new project or a new trailer. This is actually going to be a project, but I would mess around with trailers. Trailers are incredibly easy to make a video. You get this template sitting there. You just basically have to tap what video you want to put in little uh, sections of a video. It's going to tell you, I want a six second action shot, and you get to put that in there. So it makes it pretty simple. So you can see we've got a lot of videos in here. And what we like to do is, as you've probably noticed, is we put our intro in front of our videos. So I found that video. I'm going to just add it. Really simple. It's going to go right in there. So the most recent video that I took is right here. Actually, it was the, just so you know, the Evernote um, for the iPhone. So you can see we've got the entire video in here with a little transition already right there. If we want, we can adjust this transition a little bit, slide it over on top, you know, make it a little bit more uh, smooth. It's pretty smooth the way that it uh, that it is. So I'm not going to worry about that right now. You can see over here, if we wanted to actually go through and find more videos and add them, we could. If we hit this second button right here, we're going to actually get the chance to bring in some of our photos or the music icon. We can actually bring in some of the music so we can have some background music. So play around with that. Really simple to do. We can add video right here and we can actually do voiceovers as well right from within iMovie, which is uh, incredibly nice. So. What I do want to show you is a couple of different uh, um, ways that we can actually edit these videos. We can uh, do a lot of different stuff to these videos. So take a video right here. I've, I've deleted it right out of uh, the iMovie project window. I'm going to put it back in. Let's just say this was somehow sideways. We actually get to go ahead and turn these videos if we shoot them sideways. Sometimes our phone doesn't recognize what position it's in, so we can turn them sideways. It's actually a little bit easier, in my opinion, in the iPad and the iOS version of iMovie to, to turn those. We can change some of the settings. We can add a project setting to it, theme music, loop music, and fade, a bunch of different stuff there. So all I really need to do with this is adjust from when I actually end this video and turn off the uh, recording. So I'm just going to scroll back and once my hand basically stops moving is pretty much when the video is is about done so put that there I'm gonna slide this over I'm gonna hit play I'll definitely recommend using it because it is available in the note sync from your iPhone to your iPad to your iPod touch to your Mac to an oh, so you can see I missed it so if I tap the the clip again I can drag this playhead a little bit further oh looks Looks like I got it. So, not quite. I'm going to move it just a little bit over. One more test. Android uh, and an online web version, so you can really use it cross platform and really save a lot of nice things in here. So, other than that, hopefully, this answers your questions on how to use Evernote on the iPad. So, glad I looked. Just a little bit longer. So, the other section is at the very beginning. So what I need to do is trim it on this end. Let's 
see what this looks like. Right here in this video, we are gonna... So you can see I was talking too soon and make it a little longer. That's right where I want it. So there we go. Alright, here in this video we are going to... And that's it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back out to our projects. You can see I've got a new project right here. We're going to title this one using iMovie. Pretty simple. Done. And what I would want to do is upload this to YouTube. A little low on battery life, but just so you can see it, we can edit it. We can add descriptions to this, categories it's in, tags, quality of this movie, and who can actually go ahead and see this. And you can see Mac Helpers right here. So I'm going to upload this here shortly, and you're going to see this online. But let's assume you just started finishing your movie, and you wanted to show somebody, and you're excited about it. That was that this button right here. So we just go ahead and hit play. And probably shouldn't have 